Hey guys, welcome to Osiris Story Day Reviews and today um, I've been requested by uh, quite a few of my friends to review the the set of um, marine animals by um, Kyodo and this is the marine animal set um, so I'm not going to go into like the details about them, like where they live and um, the gestation period and um, sexual maturity. I'm not going to go into those sort of things. I'm just going to go straight into the detail because this video is going to be quite long and I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible. So um, in no particular order we will start off with the We will start with the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into the detail. I'm not going to really give any information because it's going to take too long. But anyway, you see that um, Kyodo have done a very lovely job with each and every single one of these figures. Um, I mean, I got all of these right here. Um, they were in China and I bought them all for... Uh, I believe eight pounds UK pounds for all of these so that was just a bargain so I had to grab them but anyway you see the lovely detail that they've done with the eye you see that beautiful blue streak going down the body of the blue Atlantic blue fin tuna and on the other side and it's quite glossy as well it's really quite shiny so it um, just makes it look, gives it that wet look. The little speckles of white on the belly. Just very nice with these little bumps all here on the body. And that yeah, open mouth. Now each one comes with um, a little sort of blue rock and the aquatail sign and the scientific name underneath it. It was just absolutely brilliant that Kyodo had packed so much detail in such small little figurines. Yep, yeah, but anyway, bluefin tuna. And we'll go to go for this one next. So this is, um, I believe, a pencil squid, and it has um, a fish in its mouth. Get ready to eat it, with the large eyes. Again, beautiful detail. It's got these little spots all over the body, which is this really lovely sort of like fiery orange, or like a copper colour and then goes into this really dark sort of brown black coloration which is absolutely really lovely the fish really got that fish in its grasp and it's not letting it go again the stand and the uh, scientific name underneath really lovely so that's that for this one next. This is the uh, pennant coral fish, I believe. You can see all the scaling. Very well done. A wide eye. I mean, they just tap so much detail. You can see all the individual scales. And the uh, fin here is like somewhat transparent as well, so it's just absolutely amazing the tall sort of thin at the top. I'm not sure what this is called but it's, it's really lovely. It's quite distinguishable all of these types of fish. Here are the gills and the fins at the side and then he got the scientific name. I haven't really seen any reviews on these figures. I thought oh, they would have been quite a few seeing that's how well detailed they are. But anyway, 
Go that one. And which one shall we do next? So we'll do this one next. So I believe this is a Japanese type of crab. I think it's called a Kalapa crab. Um, I'm not sure if, I, if it is called a Kalapa crab. Clap? Crab. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, we'll go on to the detail. Now, again, lovely detail. You can see all these striations on the shell. All these pincers at the front. You can see underneath the legs. It's got this really lovely sort of sandy colour brown. And then look of really got a white creamy colour on the underbelly. And then just these darker spots and stripes all over the rest of the body. Now the stand of this one is different. It's got a shell there and then some stones and uh, on the seabed floor. It's really uh, lovely. Again, scientific name. See the eyes. Again, these are tiny little figures. I mean, this is the size of my hand. And they've just got so much detail. It's just incredible. Well done, Kyoto. Absolutely lovely. Put that on. Um, I must mention as well that these are quite breakable, which I'll get into that in a minute. Okay, so this is the spotted eagle ray. And as you can see, it's gliding on the surface of the water. So one of its fins is in the water. It comes out the other side there. You can see here the spots of the spotted eagle ray. Just again, this is this one's more of a sort of blander um, paint job. It's just like black, and then they've just put loads of dots all over the body, the face, the eyes. The other side is quite nice, you can see the the gills, and to think that these animals are related to sharks. Really fascinating. Which is why I love sea animals. And a close up look at the stand. Just absolutely stunning. And first of all, find the... This one hasn't got the scientific name on it for some reason. But anyway, there's that one. Okay, so this one is the most strangest one. I mean, I've never seen this fish. I mean, it's very well camouflaged with this seaweed-looking stuff at the back. I'm not sure what this plant's called. But anyway, this is called a sargassum fish or something like that. Sargassum fish. And, um... Fish is very well camouflaged within uh, this plant, so it makes predators um, it makes it sort of blend in, so predators can't notice it. You can see the mouth. It's just absolutely beautiful detail. All these colours that they used for such a small little figure. And again scientific name. See the little white spots and orange and sandy yellow colours and these bumps going all across the skin. You can see the uh, fins poking out the side where it attaches into this part of the base. Then really lovely uh, detail figure. Okay, so which one shall we do next? We'll go with uh, this one. One of my favourites, this is the humpback whale in size comparison with a small boat. We'll do the boat first. You can see that, again, Kyoto have done a brilliant job. Uh, all the details on the boat and the, they didn't have to even do the propeller or the detail of the boat underneath 
but they've done that as well with the small propellers of the boat as well and, and then on the top you can see that um, again like, oh yeah like I said um, these figures are very quite breakable they break quite easily I mean I accidentally knocked this one over just like it knocked like that and it sort of chipped that bit of the tail which I was kind of angry with myself at that and I couldn't find the end bit of it on the floor so um, I'm not sure where that's gone but anyway you can see like all the ripples on the water and how big the tail is compared to the boat just absolutely gorgeous Okay, you can see underneath, underneath the surface, the beautiful humpback whale. See the tiny little eye and the bumps and the ridges and the striations and the belly, the long flippers on the other side, the, the scientific name. One of my favourites of the set. It's one of the one of the primarily primarily reasons why I got this one so <laughs> Cause it's got a hump back in it and it's plus it's got a pilot whale as well on the sh whale shop again absolutely gorgeous figurine tiny little boat it's amazing how big these animals are okay so that's the humpback whale and let's go with the pilot whale so this is the uh, short fin pilot whale there's a short fin pilot whale and there's also a long finned pilot whale. And this is the short fin. Tiny this is um they've got a very big melon head. You can see there. And the eyes. The flippers. And they've got really lovely sort of markings on their chest area. Just down there, you can see we've got a little genital slit, so it's just beautiful. Really lovely again, scientific name. If I get my finger out of the way. Pilot whale. <coughs> okay, let's go. The whale shark. Again, I only knocked the figure a little bit and the chip tip of the tail snapped off. But anyway, see that look at all this beautiful detail on this whale shark. All the spots and just incredible detail by Kyoto. See the gills and the detail of the mouth. See we've got some little spots on the underbelly. Tiny little eyes. Just absolutely gorgeous. These ridges. Amazing. So that's the whale shark. I think I've got time to do one more before my camera runs out of memory. Uh, this is the oceanic white tip um, shark. Just the beautiful markings, the eyes, the markings underneath. And there's no claspers, so. I'm guessing this is a female. See a lovely little tail. And the gills, really lovely golden colour, golden brown. And then it has the darker shades of brown on the top. Just absolutely gorgeous. Scientific name. Stunning. these little white tips on the, the body which gives it its name really lovely looking shark species ok my uh, camera ran out of memory so I had to just uh, make some memory <laughs> anyway this is the uh, blue marlin it's just, um, the c beautiful colours they've used these little spots on the fins just beautiful <coughs> and again it's sort of got this semi translucent look especially here you can see how translucent that is the 
detail on the eyes and then the long sword like um, snout. Again, this one that base, it looks like it's leaping out of the sea. Okay, scientific name. Again, all the way up, the detail. Be like a nice sort of teal blue here. Which is nice. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, lace and albatross. I don't really have any seabirds, so this is my first seabird in my collection. You see all these feathers all along here. Just outstanding detail. The eyes. The under, under the wings. There. Even though um, it's not a sea animal or such, like it swims around the ocean, yeah, but um, I don't really have any birds in my collection, unless you're thinking of dinosaurs. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, there's an albatross. And the last one is the spiny red gunnard. And it, this one didn't come with a, a little base to go on, which is sad, but oh well. Look at the little spots on the fins. Just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is a really lovely looking fish as well. Oh yeah, there's all the spots on this like sort of light grey. Contrast well with the white. Yes, semi translucent tail. See underneath. On the face. Really lovely coloration. It's using a lamp just to get more light. The colours just really beautiful. Outstanding work. Absolute bargain. Anyway, all these are my aqua tails. All here. Um, I highly suggest picking them up on eBay. I got these. Um, they took a, quite a long time to come through the post, but it was worth it. Um, it really was quite worth it. Um, I have also got the Keetan Club Humpback Whale on the stand. You can see tiny little lettering is beautiful sculpting and marking work. Look at all these mapping detail and just absolutely gorgeous. And the genital slit sort of breaching backwards. Now I can review this one separately, I think I might review this separately because it's just got so much detail on it, absolutely love it, it's just a sneak peek of how small it is. Um, with the Keytan Club figures um, on eBay, from other sellers they go for ridiculous prices, I mean I've seen some for like £30, this one I got for about £7. And I'm hoping to get the blue whale, uh, the dolphin, the manta ray, and hopefully the killer whale. But it's extremely expensive and hard to get. The cheapest one I saw on eBay was about £30. So, um, you never know, I might get it, might not. I would like to get it, but it's quite expensive. Anyway, it's a sneak preview of the Keytown Club humpback. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is quite long, I'm sorry. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this, guys, and take care and have an awesome day. Bye.